In this video, I want to go over the angle rules uh, formed by a parallel line or form, formed by parallel lines and a transversal. So let's make up two lines which are parallel. Say this is one line and this is the other line. And you have got a transversal sitting like this. Let's go the other way around. Okay. And yeah, let's uh, put a number here. Say these two lines are parallel. These two are parallel. And say this angle is say 130 degrees. If this angle is 130 degrees, can we find this angle? Say this is say angle X. And say also this angle Y and say this angle Z. Okay, so angle this angle is 130, so this angle and angle X forms corresponding angle. So you can say angle X or X not angle X, you can say ang X X is going to be 30 degrees or X is equal to 130 degrees. Now the reason it is 130, you need to also write the reason is because alternate angles, parallel lines are equal. So you may also need to write the rule. So this is how you write the rule. Okay, so this is question one. So how do you find y? y, what is x, this 130 degree and y doing? They are forming a half turn. They are half turn. So you can directly say y has to be 50 degree. And what's the reason? The reason is angles on straight line. Angles on straight line are supplementary. Are supplementary or they add up to 180. What about angle Z? Angle Y and Z, you can have two reasons for that. So you can say, well, if Y is 130, Z has to be, sorry, if Y is 50, this is 50 degree, you can use two reasons. Y and Z forms angles on a straight line or Z and the 130 are op uh, vertically opposite angles. So two reasons you can say. So Z is 130. You can either put one of the reasons. So you can either say it's vertically opposite angles are equal or you can say angles on a straight line on a straight line or not lines, angles on a straight line are supplementary. Okay, so let's make up one more question. Uh, let's draw one more line. Okay, say these two lines are parallel. So this line and this line and this is a transversal. Okay, so let's put up some numbers. So these two lines are parallel. Okay, what is suppose if this is, this is this is more than 90, so let's say this is one, 100, and 100 degrees. What is this angle, say? What is this angle, P? So angle P, you can make up an equation. Angle P plus 100 is going to be 180 degrees. The reason is they are co-interior angles. So the reason is co-interior angles on parallel lines on parallel lines are equal sorry they add to not equal are supplementary are supplementary so they add up to 180 so you can say p has to be 80 degrees p is 80 degrees so if you know one angle, you can basically find all the all the angles. So let me do an example. So these two lines are parallel and this is a transversal. 
Okay, so let's say uh, this angle is 110. So can we find this angle? Well, these two are angles on a straight line, so this has to be 70. So if you know this is 70, this is 110 because of two reasons. Angles on a straight line or vertically opposite angle. So this is again 70. So you can use these two are angles on a straight line, these two are vertically opposite angles. So now, using a different color, if this is 110, this angle is 110, which angle would be 110? Well, this is 110. The reason is, they're what type of angles? They're corresponding angles. And once you know this, you can do the rest yourself. So this is 70, this is 110, and this is 70.